Hey everybody, Sasha here today and I'm going to show you how to get started on your June Yarn Year Round project. What we're doing is a color stack cowl similar to this one except for a little bit of design features added in. You'll see in the photos in the full pattern. Um, but I thought it would be helpful to show you a video technique of how to get started on this because this is a magic number technique where you are um, stacking up the color repeats so that they stack on top of each other to make this really cool ecot design. Um, and I kind of stumbled upon a cheater method to do it. So we're going to take this beautiful um, Stitch Space Orange ecot and create the same look with ours. Um, so what you're going to start with is you want to work from the outside of the ball if you have it wound up in a ball. That way it's not all kinked up and um, lies to you about the gauge. And what I've done here is I have laid out a couple of color repeats to mimic what it would look like in a hank when it's just dyed. Um, and I've got my start here. The great thing about this one is it's perfect for a beginner because it is um, high contrast. We've got orange and white. It's easy to see where the color changes happen. So for our cowl, we're going to do like two color repeats. So we're going to start, we're going to start with some of these little removable safety pin stitch markers. We're going to place one right here where the orange shifts into the white. And this is our first section. So we're going to go all the way around. So we've got white, orange, white, orange. And then for our second one, we're going to go around white, orange, white, orange. And we're going to place another marker at, marker at the end of that second repeat. So you also need a crochet chain out of waist yarn to get started. Um, and you're going to cast on, you're going to start working by picking up into the bumps. At this point, you can go ahead and rewind this onto your ball if you'd like. Just keep that marker where you can find it. I actually placed it um, through the yarn so that I can, can work with it easily. So to start with, I've got my crochet chain going and I'm going to pick up in the back of the bump. Now I have a, a tutorial on YouTube about the, pro the crochet provisional cast on, so if you haven't done that before, you can look up that. I'll link to it as well. But we're going to start by picking up a stitch right past that first marker. And we're going to work around and pick up two full color repeats for this cowl. So what this does is it allows you, the, the reason we're using the provisional cast on is because um, picking up the stitches through the provisional cast on like this takes up the same amount of knitting, um, sa same amount of yarn as just a regular knit stitch. So this is going to get us a pretty close to the um, accurate amount of gauge that we're going to need to create the repeat. Um, now you can just cast on for this project and ignore the patterning if you'd like to and you'll still get a really cool result, but if you want to do the color stack, you'll want to follow along and do this with me. So once you get all your stitches cast on, which I will post the full number of stitches that I ended up using, so if you want to use that just as kind of as a guideline, but remember, your, yours may vary because every knitter has a different tension um, and gauge. But as you can see, I've got the white, the orange, the white, the orange, white, orange, white, orange. So I've got two full color repeats or eight different sections of color. Now I'm ready to just join to begin working in the round. Now you're going to want to make sure that you don't use any fancy method for joining. Um, you just want to pick up and start knitting and get going and that will get you going. Um, I'll also post with the pattern some tips for if your patterns, if your colors start moving one direction or the other, what you can do to fix that. So I hope you have so much fun working on this project, like I'm going to.